it's, it's kind of astonishing that I get to make a career out of something that is just a part of my life and my lived experience. My name is Teron Buford and above all, I'm a father and a husband and I'm a dedicated advocate for diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. I'm a social worker by training and I've always had a connection to people and working with people and helping them find, you know, better days. I spent about 10 years in higher education and I'm currently leading the diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging efforts at Blue Cross Blue Shield. I grew up in inner city, west side Chicago. Like many families like mine, my grandmother was kind of the stewardess of our family and when she passed the way that was kind of all of our awakening so we all kind of scattered and did our own things and my mom took our my family and we moved up to Minnesota um, we lived at People Serving People, um, which is a homeless shelter in Minneapolis, um, while I finished out high school um, before finding affordable housing in St. Paul. And now we have two amazing kids at home and I get to give them an experience that I didn't really have access to coming up. And so that's my drive. That's my motivating factor. That's the thing that keeps me going every day is to ensure that my kids um, and all the kids that come after, and not just in my family, but the kids in the community, have access to resources and things that I did. I've been in Bloomington now for five years. Like any new person to a community, I kind of look for ways to get involved. Our kids go to a small charter school here, and I've actually chaired the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee on that school board. I'm also a basketball official with NCAA, and so I'm always out in community. I was nominated for the Bloomington Pioneers and Changemakers Award. Just just being in that room with so many people who are you know so dedicated to what they're doing and you know being the change that they want to see I felt underqualified I still feel underqualified to be recognized and I'm humbled and honored I think when the city recognizes people and they call out the work and they support the work I think it goes a long way in pouring back into people's cups who are constantly pouring their cups out for others I tell folks every single day some of us will put on a microphone and they'll stand in front of a crowd and they'll give these rousing speeches and they'll inspire people to act. Others will um, have conversations in their boardrooms and their meetings and that'll encourage people to change and do things differently, create new practices and policies. Others will have challenging conversations around the dinner table and it all matters. It all matters. It all creates the progress that we want to see, that forward movement. 